What the freaky deaky super? What the heck? Job. Okay, so we're actually. Oh okay, wait, we're gonna watch this, and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Are you okay? It's because. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. Are we back in the man? Yeah, we are. Is there anything to... So, we didn't... So that's kind of cool. We didn't end up... I'm eating too much cheese and not enough cheese. That's fair. That's fair. What kind of cheese is it? This is the real question. What kind of cheese? Um. So, I kind of like this game and the aspect is... We had... We were given clearly two options. Either set off the gas... Or get him sleeping pills. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. I'm sure there was another way to do it, but there are so many ways on sleep long? how to play the game and your choices all change. I kind of want—I want to play through this game a second time at least, just so I get all the options. It's a cheese tray with a variety of them. Ooh, that—that that sounds great. Okay, so what are you guys doing here, huh? Huh? How's our fugitive? Dr. Doing Bob great. Reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley, who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I did see a I, ghost. There, there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us, what happened? I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. That is true. You we're not me? lying. I got a good look at what's in store for the patients at the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine, horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Um... We can't do that one yet. Okay. I may I be... A Francis Sanders. You know him. Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. Sanders started screaming and convulsing. Convulsing? That doesn't fit with his history. Yeah. His body got all crooked. What in God's name? And you were alone with him? He accused Sarah Hawkins of being the culprit. This is true. Sarah this Hawkins. is true. Have I missed something here? Yes. This makes no sense. It does, though. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? 
How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. Yeah. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can Boom! Say to his wife. It all makes sense. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. Probably. probably. Having dinner at the Sanders household. Please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. Hey. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. It's true. Mm. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. Level head, guys. Look at spider with Very well. a level head. This will affect your destiny. Don't be saying stuff like that, game. Hell, man. And Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. Oh, I'll try my best. What the hell? Okay, so I have three. So my mental trauma, nightmares, the ritual, death of Francis Sanders. Yeah, that's 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 a uh, traumatic. That's definitely shaken. I'm a bit shaken in my mental uh, sanity there. So we have three points to do. So I feel all of these need six. All of these. Needs. Knowledge of human behavior, improving the skill, increases your chance of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior. The object, strength, using violence, investigation. Object and of picking locks. Mm, I feel like expert, professional, professional expert. Okay, so I feel like I want to do these two. I'm just going to put it in there. Clues. We got clues from chapter five, medical. Can I not look at it? No, I can't. I can't look at it. Okay. Hey, we're in chapter six though. So we got art dealer, Dr. Fuller, and now the Institute. Why do they have a freaking insane asylum um, on this random island in the middle of nowhere? This entire, this entire island is just fucked, guys. Talk to Sanders when widow. Okay, so how, how the hell do I do that shit? Leave. All right, cool. Hey, I'm going straight to the Sanders residence. Sweet, I don't have to go through the creepy woods. I don't have to go through town. I could just, I'm popped up right there. I'm fully immersed in the settings of immersion. Hmm. Fully immersed. Enter madness. Pierce, Colleen, and Bradley decide to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector, and the friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak with his widow about the Shambler and the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. What can I do for you, sir? Oh, God. I'm a private Yes, some nice eyeliner going on. I feel it. Going further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what pleased me. Well, well, look who's here. You know each other. We you guys, are you guys having having a little? The main thing is that we understood one another. Did I mention the something? Has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? 
I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Oh, you are. Baker. You are. You are doing it with the, Sweet, with the widow. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Little jealousy? Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was oh, it? damn. Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Uh, psychologically professional. What happened to your husband is terrible. Let's do that. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. This will affect your destiny. Stop saying stuff like that! Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? Hold a test, eloquence. Let's it's try it. It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me and then leave. Or you want to uh, talk to little Miss Cat in the other room. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. That's so no. sad. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you're so eager to see it. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. That's all we're gonna ask her? Okay. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Interesting. I wanna... Hey, allow me to... There you go. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Yeah. A house of artists. A house of artists. That's that's all you're gonna A house say? of artists. I 
I don't Fancy understand. Artists. Why does it give me this little... A house of artists. That's all it gives me. Okay, sounds good. Um, anything over here? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Yes. Did that happen while he was... I need to see it. Hey, another medical tome. That's all I needed. That's all I needed in life. Another one? No? What's in here? Nothing? Well, if you can help me find the gallery, ma'am. Where is the shambler? Hmm. <laughs> What's in this room? Nothing. Okay. I hope she doesn't feel bad about Let's me just going through her shit. To say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Ah. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Um, got to verify the paintings for a buyer. Another, Another painting. painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. Hey! Thanks for the lurks, JP. Thanks for the lurks. I appreciate you, man. Very well. fair in love and war, I suppose. Yeah. For sure, though. Now, now I don't want to read it. This will affect my destiny. Stop saying stuff like that. Guys, oh my gosh. That's the that's the thing that, that was... Oh. Oh. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good evidence. Strange. Dear Francis, I beg you to give Sarah up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. Pain. If our friendship has any meaning Finally for you, please spare me the from. weight of guilt. I will not be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler, your friend Sarah Hawkins. Oh, and they were also writing letters to each other. I'm sure his wife really did oh, not God. like, um, really did not like Sarah. A strange Amerindian pendant. That's oddly specific. Okay. The whale and the god. Interesting. I could use one of those. It was prescribed to Francis Sanders or to Irene. Probably to Francis, considering he's the one with the problems. That's kind of weird. Why would you need to know about human anatomy? Oh, this is a beautiful gallery. Look at all of these this. artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. That is fucking dope. Some of these tablets. I live for it. Not uh, my aesthetic, but I live for them. Interesting. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. What's this one? Is that Cthulhu holding a baby? Oh, God. 
They're crazier than I thought. Why do I need to hide? Was there another way that I had to get in there that I had to hide from people? I'm confused. Whoa! The man the entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. That is so cool, though. You've got to respect that. Like that is dope. Yes, I'm looking at everything. Interesting. He, uh, he really had an interesting, uh, knack for art. What the hell is wrong with these? What the hell, man? What the hell? These paintings, though. What's this one? That's that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. He wanted the painting so much. Uh. It's gonna come out of the painting and just eat you. How did I know? The hell is going on? The hell? I don't think he can see. I think he, he goes off of hearing alone. What the hell was that? Oh, he's gonna come get my ass. What the hell? I can't even touch it. No way out. No choice. I must get rid of it. Oh god. How do I get rid of it? Other than just destroying the painting. I don't even know where it's at right now. Okay. I don't know where the hell it went. Oh shit, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Don't go that way. Spider, what were you thinking? We literally looked at everything before getting in here. My, 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 my thing is just to destroy the painting. Like, if you destroy the painting... Oh god, no, 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 no. I'm running, I'm running. You can't, you can't get me from over there. Do you run, do you run very fast? Do you run 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 fast? There it is. 
Get away! You're so creepy and weird. Oh god. Leave me! Learn! That thing came out of this painting. There has to be a link. Maybe if I destroy it. Oh god. Yeah, maybe if you destroy it. That's what I'm thinking. What else would it be? What else would it be? Oh, it saw me. It saw me. It saw me. It saw me. Ginger with a rate of four. How's it going? You guys are coming when I am dying. Oh my gosh. How do we get rid of the painting? Can't you just like rip it up? Ginger love raid. Durr. Hello, Iceman. How's it going? How's it going? Thanks for the raid with the four viewers. Oh my gosh, this has my anxiety up so bad, guys. So bad. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can do it. Alright, we're holding- Actually, there's new people in here. We'll watch this so you guys can see it. It's all pretty fucked. I don't know what- Derp. Exactly. Can't you just, like... It's canvas. You can punch canvas and then just just rip it. Just rip it. Hey, Thanks for the tier 1 subscription! That's awesome. Mirtastic. Hey, Mir. How's it going, everyone? How's it going? You're creepy! Get of me. Bro! <laughs> hey! Subiversary! Thanks, Mir. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And you got two months. You know, I really wish you could change your founder badges. Like, because it's super cool. You guys got founder badges. But, like... What the... I can't start this right out of the sudden, guys. Get in! Die again? Okay. I died again, guys. You can choose to turn off the Founder's Badge if you want. I really like them, though, so I keep it on. Oh, can you? See, I like it, but then you guys don't have the pretty- You guys don't have the pretty witch's hat. All right, we get it. We're just gonna... What the hell was that? Hey, thanks for the follow, King. Oh my gosh, leave me alone. Get off of my dick, man. I feel like we just need to, like, hide from this guy. He's coming this way. He's a coming. He seems like he's actually really easily. Oh, he got mad. There has to be a link. Maybe if I destroy it. Yeah, how are we going to do that? How are we going to destroy it, my friend? How are we going to destroy it? Tell me. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. I'm freaking freaking out my my man. I'm freaking out. Okay. That thing came out of this paper. Where are you coming from? There has to be Can I just light it with a match? Is that possible? What game is this? I've never seen it before. This is Call of Cthulhu. And it is actually motherfucking intense. 
I am not going to lie. Can I just light it? There has to be a link. No! I destroy it. Oh, shit. Uh-uh. Oh, hell nah. We ain't doing this today, my friend. Stop chasing me for five seconds of your time. Five seconds. That's all I ask of you. Five seconds. Sup? Sup? Oh god. Oh yeah. So we are going. So Shambler is a painting, doesn't seem to know. But yes, it's Call of Cthulhu. It's actually a really good game. It is a horror type game. You play as a detective. A lot of detective work. It's getting really freaking intense though. Oh my gosh, we just broke out of the insane asylum and now we're killing paintings. Don't ask me. Doesn't know what she hates to mark. Sarah Hawkins or her work. The fact remains, she just she accuses her of costing her husband sanity. He apparently gouged his own eyes out under the influence of the painting. I must see it. I gouged my eyes out. I must see it. Uh, the key to the gallery is probably in the office. Really close. Shit! Oh my gosh. I, sh I need to stop looking at stuff. I need to spare my sanity. Um... Hey, we're experts now. You just have to lay eyes upon it for... It's being an anchor itself into your dimension allowed to rip open with his claws. Interesting. Interesting. I'm still streaming, so I'm gonna be mad lurking. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for the lurks, Iceman. You're cool. You are cool. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of... Got a lot of knowledge. We got so much knowledge at the Sanders. Yeah, so this is basically telling me nothing. Where is it even coming from? Where is it even coming from? Where are you even coming from? No! You leave me alone, you son of a bitch! I just wanna, I just wanna burn you. I just wanna try burning you, okay? Is that, is that? That thing came out of this painting. There has to be a link. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection or was he seeking to acquire it? Drawing of a dagger. Blue memorize, drawing of a dagger. Yeah, you better, you, you don't have a lot of a lot of room for um trial and error my friend damn did it hear that probably this might be able to lift the curse on the painting oh no 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 i did not look at you you do not see me you don't even have eyeballs you have no eyeballs are you aware of this you actually have zero eyeballs. You just got a mouth, a mouth, a ma, a ma, a mouth full of teeth, a mouth. <laughs> Don't ask me. Kill it. Kill it with the painting. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm in control now, big boy. I'm in control now, big boy. Oh, God, that's kind of weird. Don't you be grabbing me. You gross. You gross as hell. Oh my gosh. What the hell is going on with. Okay. Interesting. 
Don't tell me that you're going crazy, too. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Yes. It, it's nothing. I, I, I think I just drank too much. That goes without saying. If you can't tell the difference between reality and fiction, then you're in real trouble. I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. Why are you helping me? I saw on the ledgers. It was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see yeah. your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Interesting. The Nameless Bookstore. Chapter 7. Oh my gosh, we are like going through these. 